Just kidding, the MXZ wouldn't start. I pulled and pulled and pulled and nothing would happen. We're here on the farm. Gonna rip the uh, ZR800, hopefully. It's been a minute since I started this thing, but let's give it a shot. EFI, so no choke. Try it. Yeah, we gotta let her warm up a bit. Been a while for the old girl. Ooh, that ain't good. <laughs> There's a bunch of chunks of our track. There she goes. doesn't appear to be frozen that's good oh yeah this thing's due for a good seat cover I gotta put some love into this thing for sure gas in the tank. Well, now she's acting all right. Maybe just needed to suck a little crap through the line. I gotta do something about these handlebars. They're like too low. It makes it difficult to ride when you're standing up. this thing is. This exhaust is also blowing out my eardrums. Let's give her the beans here on this straightaway. get on the front lawn before I do. See here a bit of clicking coming from the track. I don't know if you can pick that up on the GoPro. Yeah, what is that? 
me investigate here. Huh. I don't see anything. just ran over a stick or something. Oh, no. It's back. I feel it under my butt. It's like when I really give it the beans, it comes out. That's so weird. Or maybe it's a piece of the track, because I did notice there was some chunks sticking out of the track. gonna fall off. Oh yeah, it's really doing it now. Oh, that sounds awful. What is that? So weird. our belt. Let's see how healthy our belt is. Let's see what we got going on here. Hmm. The belt looks good. Oh, this is the wrong size. But it sounds like it's coming from the track. I feel a rumbling sensation on my butt. So, huh, it's almost like something's like flying up and smacking it. I'm starting to think that maybe it's a uh, suspension thing where our shock's blown out and I'm too fat to sit on it. So it's kind of grinding the studs on the bottom. Let's see if I can do a test here. I won't try not to put all my weight on it. Now it sounds like it's coming from the, blit, the belt. I'm not hearing as much of the clicking as before though. It definitely sounds like something's happening with the belt right now. It's kind of sketchy. Yeah. Huh. Let's try it out in the field again. I'm not gonna go as hard on the old girl this time around though. We'll stay close to the road, how about that? Not that I would have any thing to pull it back to the road, but. Sounds like it's coming from our belt. I know the clutches are good. I just had them professionally clean. Well, I technically I didn't have it done. I traded, did a bunch of trades, but I ended up with the same sled again. And after that, it had been professionally clean. It seems to come and go though. Like right now, it's acting fine. I feel it on my butt a little bit. So let me shift my weight forward. Still feel it. That's strange, man. Don't know what's going on with this. We gotta get it back in the shop, I think. Yeah, 
Yeah, now I definitely remember when I was with Mike, we had some issues. It sounded like a bunch of sticks got stuck in the track, which is what this kind of feels like. It sounds like, but I checked the track and I don't see anything. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, she's, she's, uh, she's fluttering a little bit. Uh, let's get this back before it dies out here. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Thought I was gonna just die in the road over there. I gotta put this where I can get it into my truck, so I think this is a good spot. Sure. That's a bummer. It's quite a bad end to our first ride here. Huh. 